Hi guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna demonstrate installing our brand new Can-Am radius rods. These are higher clearance radius rods, billet aluminum. Um, they give you a little more ground clearance off the bottom on the lower rod and compensate for the higher clearance. The middle rod is also bent slightly, but the top rod is straight. We use American made aluminum. It's made on American machines. We even have American bearings, and I checked, and they are American-made snap rings. These are spherical bearings, so they will articulate and move with the suspension. We also included in the kit are bushings to adapt the 5 8 bearings to uh, 12 millimeter, which are the bolts on the back of the Can-Am. Also included in the kit are O-rings that sandwich between the bearing and the bushing to keep your radius rod straight up and down. Just keeps everything looking good and straight. Some of the tools we're gonna need are an 18 millimeter end wrench, a 19 millimeter end wrench, a ratchet, an 18 millimeter socket, and a 19 millimeter socket. You'll also need a floor jack and some type of block if your jack doesn't go high enough. Let's get started. So one of the biggest reasons for upgrading your radius rods, not only for ground clearance and really sweet looks, are they bend really easily, as you can see with this bottom, bottom radius rod. Our buddy Cletus stopped by and wrecked that in about 10 minutes. <laughs> I gotta leave you guys to See you guys later. Let's get that up. One of the reasons that they fail is the bottom radius rod has a bend in it from the factory. And whenever you have a bend in a tube, it's gonna bend right there. Back tire hits, shoves in, bends the radius rod up, as you can see, like this. And uh, they're really not very strong from the factory. First thing you wanna do is take your 19 millimeter socket and break the back tires loose. These are already pretty loose. So I've done this 1,776 times. Next, we're gonna jack up the back of the machine. Our install is gonna be a little bit different because we have our rear bumper on here. And if you want to learn more about that, I recommend you check out our bumper install videos or check out our website. All right, now we can take the tires completely off. Now we're going to remove the bumper. If you have a car without a bumper, this will be in this place. Same basic procedure, use the 18 millimeter to take off all six of these nuts. Next step, I'm gonna take 18 millimeter end wrench, 18 millimeter socket, and we're gonna take off this top radius rod and put the socket on this end and stick the wrench down inside of there. Pull this one off. Oh, 
remove the top radius rod. And you don't really want to take all of the radius rods off at the same time because there's nothing supporting this half shaft with the spring and everything and it might come apart. So take your time and just do one at a time. So we're going to take our top radius rod. If you want to double check which one is the correct one, you can line it up to the factory one and it should be the same length, which it is. So we take our bushings, put a O-ring on the bushing, stack it in this end, O-ring on a bushing, sandwich on that end, and then on this side, just the bushings. Make sure your M is facing the right way. Fish the radius rod back into the trailing arm. Have your bolt handy. Feed your bolt. Put the nut back on, finger tight, it's fine. I dropped half my bushings, but make sure the O-ring is in on this side. Pop it on, put your bushing back. Just like that. One thing to keep everything kind of from falling apart is take one of your nuts and screw it back on here. That way nothing's falling apart. Next we'll do the other side. Move the nut, wiggle a little bit. Slide the bolt out. that radius rod. Bushing with the washer, pop it in the back side, one on the front. Pop that back on. Put a nut on for safety. Next, we'll do the bottom. You need the 18 and the 18 again. But this time, we're going to put the socket on the front side on the lower bolt that'll be a long bolt and then you can slide the bottom radius rod out so we got our new Radius rod, just the bushing on the outboard side. Feed that in. Oops. Line it up, slide the bolt through, just like that. Put the nut on the other side. I'm going to use our Bushing with the wash or with the O-ring, put it together. And you may need to manipulate the hub a little bit to get it to slide on. And we'll put a nut on it, just like the other ones. Back to the other side.
Let's let our bent one off. See that thing's really tweaked. Just the bushing. Got to make sure everything goes in nice and straight. Otherwise it'll bind. It's a pretty tight fit. Let's wiggle it. It lines up. Again, put our bushing with the O-ring on each side. Tip the hub. nut. So now we're going to need a 19 millimeter end wrench and the 18 millimeter socket. The 18 goes on the head of the bolt for the center arm and the 19 goes down inside here next to the axle. See that? I'll take this off. You want to be careful because there's a washer behind that nut and then there's a washer between the hub and the radius rod. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I'll probably drop them both. <laughs> to reach in with like two fingers, get the nut off, and then try to get the washer out without dropping it. Great success. There we go. That's the other washer. Then we can pop off the center radius rod. Grab the new one. So the, the ends are different. This end has the kicker in it. That's for clearing this. And this end has like kind of a droop shape to it. And that's to clear the inside of this at full suspension drop. So we'll put in just the bushings on the outside. Fish that in position. So we wanna have the bolt hovering in there and get your washer back in between the bushing and the bearing carrier, the hub. Got it. Okay. I'm gonna take our other washer, put it on, on the inside. It's pretty tight. Put it on there. I'm gonna put our nut back on. Yeah, right there. All right, now pull it off. All right, and then we're gonna take our bushing with the O ring on it. Slip it in the back side of the bearing. Put one on the front. And then. Oh. Wiggle that back out. There we go. And put a nut on it. So we'll take 18 millimeter. Take the 19 millimeter. Put it on there. Loosen it up. Try not to drop the nut or the washer. that and that handy all right now we're going to take just the bushing put it in this side feed this in to position 
your bolt through the radius rod bushings and I still got to get that magical washer back in there put our washer on the inside god our nut let's try putting this on here there we go Pushing in, push the stud back out, and I'll put the nut on. Now we can tighten up all the hardware on the outside uh, end, and we can put our bumper back on, or our plate or whatever you got in the center. So we'll take, we'll do this one first, 19 millimeter on the inside, 18 outside. And we'll snug that one up. We can take our 18 millimeter end wrench, our 18 socket, do the other two. We'll go to the other side. Use our 19 millimeter on the inside here in the center bolt. 18 on the outside to our top. And the bottom. All right. All right. Now you can take your 18 millimeter end wrenches and socket and you can either put your factory cover back on if you have that or I recommend putting our bumper on it's much stiffer so we're gonna put the bumper back on so we will take off make sure everything's pushed up and tight we don't want those o-rings falling off or getting stuck all right so this is the most difficult part, this whole process. It's getting these studs to line back up. Let's take our bumper, hook it back on the top. We'll try to start one corner, push it down, get the top, the side. If you have any threads that are starting to show, to keep that stud from going in, you should just put a put a nut on there. So I have a couple of your nuts handy and just barely start that. Whew. Got that one on. Okay. Now we can focus on the center ones. So we got four of the six bolts in and the center ones are a little more difficult or tricky. A tip that kind of helps is uh, put the tires back on, tighten them up and lower the jack down and put some pressure on the wheels. And it kind of like makes everything go back to where it wants to be. So we're gonna try that. Just put a barely a little bit of pressure on the tire just so it touches. So now we're going to lower the machine down and put just a little bit of pressure on the back tires and it should help us wiggle these uh, last two bolts in. There we go. I just heard this loosen up. There we go. Gotcha. All right. Put our nut on. Put our top bolts back in. Now we're gonna take our 18 millimeter wrenches and just tighten all six of these up. First, we're just gonna snug them up. Put 
Finally, we're gonna lower the car down and the outside bolts are tight, but we have our inside ones just snug. And we're gonna make sure that our tires are pointed, the camber and the toe look correct. Drop it all the way down. Give it a couple of those. Put it in neutral. And roll it back and forth a little bit. Stand back and make sure that the tires aren't towed in or anything goofy. And they look correct. They seem to look pretty good. If you do need to wiggle them around a little bit, you can loosen up your, uh, your suspension points and kind of move, the, kick the tire around and then tighten it back up. If you do want to move it, this center rod does your toe. So it keeps the tire pointed um, straight forward and the upper two adjust your camber. So how much the tires pitched in and out. Ours look pretty good. So I'm going to snug them up. Tighten the bottom ones. And last step, if you have the bumper, just tighten up these top bolts. All right, guys, it's as simple as that. Uh, you kind of got two videos in one here. We got the radius rods on, and we also got our bumper installed. You can find these at motionsidebyside.com. Uh, please like and share our. Uh, video here and also comment down below if you have any ideas for other products for the X3 or the Razors or any of the other uh, side-by-sides in the lineup and we'll see you next time.